Tonight, we have first up, District Judge, 22nd Judicial District. We have Bruce Boyer, Ronnie Dickens, David Glicker, and David Nye as your candidates for 22nd District Judge. Each candidate will have three minutes for an introduction. The microphone is at the center of the table. Uh, you, you can pass it from candidate to candidate when you get through, either responding to a question or giving your introduction. Joyce Jack is sitting in the center. Uh, she has a yellow and a red elephant. They'll let you know when your time is getting close to expiring, when you have one minute remaining, and then, 30, uh, and then the red elephant will be time to end your response to pass the microphone to the other candidates. First up, Bruce Boyer for District Judge, 22nd Judicial District. Well, hello, everybody. I've met quite a few of you. I hope to meet everyone here this evening. My name is Bruce Boyer. I am running for the 22nd Judicial District Court. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about myself, I've been an attorney for 35 years. My practice has been in the uh, Central Texas area, primarily out in Rompels and Cumberland County and Hayes County for the last 35 years. I am board certified in real estate. But in addition to being a real estate lawyer, I've also been a prosecutor for over 22 years. I was a municipal prosecutor in the city of Braunfels and also worked with the district attorney's office. In fact, when our district attorney also had uh, not just come out county, but also, uh, excuse me, uh, Kendall County, not Kendall County, uh, Caldwell County, thank you very much. I'm sorry. Anyway, at Caldwell County as well, and there are three of us that prosecuted just in that in those two counties. Also, I worked at the county attorney's office as well, and one time I had jurisdiction over all our river calls in Bromwells and Cumberland and County. At the time when I was working with the district attorney's office, my primary duty in the admission of trying cases on a daily basis in Judge Ramsey's court. I do want to recognize Judge Ramsey. He's here tonight. He is retiring. Let's give him a big round of applause. I work with, with the grand jury. If y'all ever get a chance to have to work with a grand jury, do it because you're going to learn more about your county and what goes on within your county that you're not going to see in the newspaper on, here on the radio or anywhere else. We handle cases, I handle cases with child abuse, welfare fraud, drug cases, murder cases. One in particular that stands out to me was a child who was 18 months old and was killed by a boyfriend. We had to present that case to the grand jury with the all the I've also been a small businessman in New Braunfels and in Cumberland County in this area. I've been in the file business for over 25 years. I've had to be a payroll with 15 to 20 employees. I know what that's like. I've also been a, spent the last 35 years giving back to my community. I think that's very important because one thing about this court, this isn't San Antonio, this isn't Dallas, this isn't a big city where you may not have any type of interest in what the district courts do, these courts protect your community here and not only Caldwell, Hayes, and Cumberland County, counties, but they're for you. They're not for the attorneys. You're going to hear a lot about attorneys and, and a lot about the experience the folks have had up here in managing attorneys. It's not about that. It's about you all. It's about the victims who need justice. It's also about the people who need their problems resolved. I'm the one that brought us experience to do that. I appreciate you listening and, and also appreciate your support and your vote. Thank you very much. Next up is Ronnie Dickens for District Judge, 22nd Judicial District. Well, I too was glad to see Judge Ramsey here. His career as a judge is exactly the same as my career as a lawyer. He started out as a young district judge. And my whole career, he's been right there and we're glad to see him back on the side of the room. Uh, I'm glad to be in, in, in the, glad to be invited to this job interview. Uh, that's what it is. You're trying to hire a lawyer to become your next judge. And what you've heard already and what you're going to hear later is a lot of criminal law, but you're not going to hear anything else. But the ones that have been running against each other for 10 months now or so, we've, we've made these speeches so we know what everybody's going to say. There, there's a lot of criminal law being pushed, but I'm the, I'm the trial lawyer here. Other than, than Mr. Nye, I don't know what he's done because he's only been in the race a short time. 
time, but I've been in the trial since the day I started practicing law in family law, civil law, criminal law, and I did the criminal defense, which I maintain is the hardest because you're against the state of Texas who have a lot, a lot of resources, but you're hiring a lawyer to be your next judge. And I'm the only candidate that's been in this race for 10 months that's, that's uh, experienced in all of these areas. I'm also cons concerned about this court. This is the Hayes County seat. When this district was created, there was a court in San Marcos, New Braunfels, and La And no one's ever run for this court that's out of this county. There's already three district judges sitting in New Braunfels. And one candidate from over there, even Judge, Judge Pfeiffer, when he ran, he ran in the New Braunfels chair. But this is our seat, and that we do have an out-of-county guy running for it. And uh, this, we, uh, we're here living, and we've worked, and we've paid taxes, and we've done everything in Hayes County. We practice in all these other areas, but by the way, I'm glad to be home. I've been in all of the, we're, I've been invited, a guest in all these other places, but I'm finally back in Hayes County, and we're home. This, this, this one in the Butical and the North Hayes, we're, we're back in our county, and we're home. But we've been practicing here now for I'm 30 years for me, and I've done everything, not just criminal. You're going to hear more about criminal, board certified. I've done this, but I'm the only one that sat in that chair by myself, and all the case, all of the case responsibility has been on me for 30 years, and and I've I've done that for 30 years in lots of different places, and I love the people in the hill country, and I promise you, I'd be a judge that would be approachable that you can come not talk about cases, but you can come talk to us as as, as people. And if this doesn't work out, I've, I've had a lot of experience and I've got a lot of support in all three counties, but I have a thousand new friends that I'd like to take up for a spin on my law practice. I know a lot more people here that I didn't know before, but I would be glad to bring my experience. My wife, by the way, is back at my table, and she's the head pharmacist at HEB, and uh, we haven't raised any money. We, there's, there's some real money in this race. We've run on our own money up at this point because I've got a lot of faith in you that you're going to want the most qualified, most experienced person, and I am that person. But I would appreciate uh, your help, and, and with your help, we'll, we'll try to get this thing going and, and be as good as Judge Ramsey has been for 32 years. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support and love. Your next candidate for 22nd Judicial District Judge is David Glickman. Well, good evening, Wimberley. It is good to be back in Hayes County. My name is David Gligler, running for 22nd Judicial District Court. And I have three minutes to introduce myself to y'all, but I have a bit of an advantage because I know many of you in this room. I appreciate Judge Ramsey and Mrs. Ramsey being here tonight. And I want to let you know that I am the only candidate in this race who was actually spoken to by folks about running for this race back in 2009. I'm the only candidate in this race that's lived in Hayes County, like Judge Ramsey, uh, for over 10 years. We moved, my wife Holly is here with me. We moved to uh, Kyle 10 years ago. We're now in Buda. Kids are in the schools and we're staying here. Now, who am I? I have to introduce myself to trainers. I'm a prosecutor for the state of Texas in Greg Abbott's office. I supervise the white collar crime and public integrity case, which means I go around the state prosecuting cases. I've represented the citizens of the state of Texas for 11 years as an assistant attorney general, and for six years before that, as an assistant county attorney in Williamson County. Now, somebody said, you're gonna hear a lot about criminal. And a lot of folks say, I don't even know what a district judge does, or I don't know what to ask a district judge. The district judge sits in your highest local level trial court. Many of you know your justice of the peace, and you deal with traffic tickets and some smaller level cases. Some of you know your county court of law judges who handle misdemeanors, but the district judge presides over felony criminal cases. They also provide over civil lawsuits, suit between two parties, and family lawsuits, suits about divorce or uh, parent-child relationships. Now, why are you gonna hear a lot about criminal? Some of us up here have done some research and found that on a random day in one of the courthouses, 40 cases were set on the docket and 35 of those cases were criminal dockets. Additionally, I myself have spoken to the district clerk's office in Hayes County, and since Beverly took over on January 1 of 2011, there have been 40 jury trials in Hayes County. 35 of those are criminal jury trials. People who are accused of committing felonies are on trial. I am board certified in criminal law. A comment was made about being the only trial lawyer. That is what I do. Every day for 17 years, I try cases. If I'm not trying them, I'm getting ready to try them. And I'm not saying anything I can't show you or prove to you. I have a table back there with information. 
As the head of the White Collar Crime and Public Integrity case, my cases are reported very much in the media, all over the state. I've got newspaper clippings, I've got links to stories about my cases on the website, and I've had to do the toughest job in the court, which is to prosecute, because I'll tell you later, but what I want you to do is go to gligglerforjudge.com and vote for David Gligler for the 22nd Judicial District. Judge is David Nye. Thank you. Hello, Wimberly. Hayes County. David Nye from New Braunfels. Glad to be here. Judge Ramsey, it's been an honor to practice in your court for the last 20 years. You've been an excellent judge, and I say that from the bottom of my heart. I was there on the 15th of this month in your court. You've been the same every time, doing your best, and I appreciate it. We're going to talk a lot about criminal law, but let me first introduce myself, David and I. Been a lawyer since 1980, some 32 years. Graduated from Texas A&M University in 1976. Moved to New Braunfels in 1992, and have been practicing there in Judge Ramsey's court, in Judge Steele's court, in Judge Robinson's court, in Judge Walter's court, in the two county courts for the past 20 years. Ronnie likes to say he's got the most experience. I disagree with him. Why do I say that? I'm in court just about every other week. David's in court in Austin. But I'm in the courts here in our local communities, San Marcos, Lockhart, New Brothels, all those courts. Ms. Boyer has been our mayor of New Brothels for six years. Why is that important? Well, Friday and Saturday, I was at a criminal law seminar in San Antonio, keeping up with the law, keeping up with what our courts, our appellate courts, are doing to our constitutional rights. They're hanging by a thread, folks. First Amendment, got any Catholics out here? Raise your hand. Okay. See what they're trying to do to those rights. Second Amendment rights, right behind. Fourth Amendment rights. Fifth Amendment rights. Sixth Amendment rights. I think you need someone with the experience, and I say at all these forums, I'm that person with the experience, the best qualified candidate. But you want someone to look out for your rights, your constitutional rights, to make sure they're not trampled upon. Eighty percent of the cases are criminal cases. That's why we talk about it. Why is that? Because of the drugs we have in the community. Cocaine, heroin, marijuana, methamphetamines, a lot of meth in Canyon Lake. That's why we have so many criminal cases. I'm experienced in civil law as well, and do those cases too. But you need someone that keeps up with the criminal law and knows what they're talking about, knows what the appellate courts are doing so you can make the proper rulings and look out for us as citizens. Thank you. 